Hey guys, um, so real quick, I wanted to talk to you. Um, I've gotten some questions. I'm going to answer two things today. Um, first of all, um, I've had a lot of people ask me about like shampoos and conditioners, and recently I've tried like one, two, three, four, like five different kinds of um, shampoos and conditioners, and I'm going to share those with you like real quick. Um, okay, <clears throat> so uh, first of all, um, as you know, I recommend the Fakai, or however you say it, um, the Technician Color Care. This is definitely for anyone who um, has color, like such as like you know the crazy colors, not like regular colors. Okay, um, that is my number one, always like will be. <laughs> so um, there's those. Okay, but recently I have uh, four other ones that I'm going to also show you. Um, neither. None of them are really, really, okay, well, two of them are, like, the same price, and, um, none of them are really, like, the exact same, except for two of them are both S-Factor, but they're different. Okay, <clears throat> so the first two that I have are, um, S-Factor Smoothing Shampoo and Smoothing Conditioner. Um, these worked really well. I wouldn't recommend using these if you have, um, like, color in your hair or anything like that, like this. Um, especially not this, the red, especially not that. Um, it's not like it hurts your hair or anything, it just doesn't, um, preserve it, doesn't help it, doesn't, you know, do anything for your color. Um, but otherwise, I would definitely recommend S-Factor, they're really good, um, it's a really good hair color, or hair care line. Um, you can use those in any salon, um, stuff like that. The, then I also have the S-Factor Color Savvy. Um, okay, and that... I would recommend it to anybody who has like a regular color in their hair. You know, like blonde, brown, black, um, stuff like that. Any regular color hair. If, you're, if your hair is colored, I would definitely recommend that for you. Um, works really well. I really like it. Um, I was very happy with it whenever I had, you know, colored my hair black. And it was just all black. Um, it worked really well. Um, those are both about the same price as the Fakai. Twenty-something dollars a bottle. Expensive, but definitely worth it. Okay, um, so next I have Bedhead Superstar, and uh, okay, this is a sulfate-free um, shampoo, and then they're both for thick, massive hair. So um, I got these because I like assumed sulfate-free meant that it would be for um, like colored hair, and it's totally not. <laughs> it did not preserve any color whatsoever. Um, if you don't have color in your hair, I would definitely recommend it. You made my hair like really voluminous, made it really, really like thick, really nice hair. Um, but I would not at all recommend this to somebody who has um, color of any kind in their hair. It does not hold color. Um, it is not gentle on color at all. Uh, but it's a really good shampoo and conditioner. So, um, you know, if you don't have any color but you're looking for um, like thicker hair, um, more voluminous hair, definitely go for that really good okay <clears throat> so I know that like I said everything that I use is all salon brand and and people were like oh no what about drugstore okay well I found a drugstore shampoo and conditioner and this is the best um, drugstore product I've ever tried um, it's amazing uh, I wouldn't recommend it for colored hair um, or anything like that but just in general, Sun Silk Thermosilk, right here. This is really, really amazing stuff. It's so cheap, it's like four bucks a bottle, um, and it's heat activated. It's like it's like a heat defense spray, but in your shampoo and conditioner. I absolutely loved it. It was really great um, for drugstore brand. Like all, uh, you know, always you definitely can't get you know salon um, kind of like. Um, hair stuff, you know, through drugstore. I know they say you can, but no. Um, definitely, if you have hair color, I would recommend investing in a salon brand, preferably Fakai, um, or Fakai, or however you say it. Um, and I'd prefer you to invest in that because it's going to help you in the long run. Okay, so um, second question I've gotten asked about is like my piercings and my tattoos. Um, I will go ahead and show you what I have, kind of tell you 
about them. Um, I don't know how many piercings I have, and it's nothing like weird. It's just I don't know how many I have in my ears. Um, I have like quite a few in each ear that I don't have like earrings in most of the time. Okay, so um, I'll just show you really quick. In this ear, I have, um, I actually have, you know, one hole right here, and I actually have a second hole. My third hole is actually the one that's gauged. It's actually gauged to a double zero, and most people don't, like, believe that, I guess, um, it's gauged. So hold on here. It's real. I guess because they have, like, fake, um, gauges nowadays that you can get, but no, 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 they, they're real. Um, then there's also these two right here. These hurt so bad. Um, I actually had a friend do those, um, at a party. Um, yeah, it hurt. Um, I used to actually have an industrial here that I also got done at my friend's house. Um, but I ended up having to take it out because I had, like, a lot of medical problems. I'd get MRIs and stuff like that, and I had to not be able to wear, um, like, jewelry or anything while I was in the MRI. So this one, I only have a few in right now. Um, once again, my third hole is gauged. Um, I have this one right here. This one, oddly enough, did hurt. I did it myself, probably why. <laughs> and this one was also down at a party, <laughs> um, at a friend's house. Um, I don't condone, um, like, tattoos or piercings at anybody's house. That's so dangerous. Um, I definitely could have got infected. I could have got, you know, messed up piercings, stuff like that. Um, so please don't do that. It's really stupid. I took really good care of mine and luckily enough I got lucky and um, these didn't get infected. I did have a few others that got infected and ended up having to take out. Um, I actually had like four or five other piercings in my ears that got infected and I had to take them out just because they were done in a house. Okay, so um, obviously I have, you know, my nose and have my Monroe done. These are both done professionally. I like just got them done a few months ago. Um, this one's actually still healing. This one's good. This one's still healing a little bit. And um, I also have my belly button pierced, if you can see. I have a little blue. Here, I'm going to show you. I have a little blue effluent right there. And um, I actually got that from um, bodycandy.com. If you ever want any really, really, really good um, body jewelry, go to bodycandy.com. They're, like, totally amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to show you my tattoos really quick because I'm already at, like, eight minutes. Okay. So, um, don't laugh at my stomach. I have a weird stomach. But, um... I have this one going from like up here all the way down. Um, and then I also have my friend's name. Her name's Katie. It's right here on my back. Um, I also have this one on my wrist, which is from my dad. Um, the, uh, the Katie and the dad one, um, my friend Katie, uh, she died about almost a year ago. And uh, me and her parents went to get her name tattooed on us. My dad actually um, passed away on Christmas Day of 2009. And um, the next day I went out and I got this tattooed. I was total daddy's girl. Um, so, okay. And then the last one that I have is this one right here. If you can see it. It's actually a brass knuckles. With them a crown on top, and it has some flowers behind it. Um, I just want to tell you really quick for a run out of time. Um, if you're in the Houston area, Houston, Texas, um, go to this place called 713 Tattoo. Um, I'll probably have their link in the sidebar, whichever way it is. And um, they're absolutely amazing. I wouldn't recommend going anywhere else for any kind of tattoos or anything. Um, like I said, don't get a tattoo or a piercing at your friend's house, please. And um, go ahead and subscribe to me.